Thank you so much. Well, thank you for that introduction. And it's so great to see all of you. I want to welcome you to the Cornell Geospatial Forum. Uh, I understand that this is the first event that hopefully is going to be an annual one that I, I see, which I, I think, judging from the start of this, is, is really uh, going to be off to a good start. Uh, I was trying to speculate how many people would be here this morning because uh, of the first event and so forth, and I'm just flabbergasted. This is really great, and it really shows how much uh, uh, interest there is in uh, geospatial science and technology here at Cornell. Uh, before I say any more, I want to uh, really send a, a great word of thanks to the organizers, all the people that Julia and all the people that she mentioned uh, for pulling this together. What's really, I think, special about this is that this didn't come about as uh, from the prodding of anybody trying to get somebody to do something. This is all these efforts that were put together, and I think we really owe a word of thanks to the um, uh, Atkinson Center for funding this. But I really want to uh, congratulate the organizers of this event. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that the organizers of the event have rightly uh, pointed out is that there's uh, widespread and increasing demand for geospatial science uh, and technology. Uh, in various domains, uh, whether it's on the research domain, uh, on the educational domain, uh, more and more areas of uh, work, uh, whether in research or uh, in industry or other areas of service, require students to have an understanding of geospatial science. And I think that's important in terms of how we offer education uh, to students. So that's uh, a big demand. I'm not sure we know how we meet that demand. Uh, one of the things that I'm struck by is that uh, we have uh, at Cornell uh, oh, at least 15 departments that are actively engaged with uh, geospatial science, and, and, and this spans five colleges. So one of the things that I think is really important to note about this is there's um, probably a great need for coordination uh, across departments, across colleges, so that we can really meet effectively the demand uh, for uh, education in this area and also for research uh, collaboration. Uh, so that's one thing. And I think one of the things that this uh, forum really stands to provide is a, a starting point for that kind of coordination. That's why I'm so delighted to see so many people here from so many different parts uh, of the university. That said, I think maybe the most important thing that we can think about today is, is or the most important component, the most critical component in meeting this demand is faculty hiring. And so this is something that's very much on the demand or on the minds of, uh, of uh, the various colleges. And certainly in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, Dean Bohr says this is the number one priority is faculty renewal, faculty hiring. So it's important for us to define what we want to do. And some of you may have heard we've just finished a strategic plan. We've outlined six different areas. Uh, that we want to uh, have uh, focused attention uh, to uh, faculty hiring. Those include uh, food and nutrition security, climate change, its causes, consequences, mitigation of it, uh, adaptation uh, to it, uh, social and socio-ecological system resilience, uh, biological sciences across all uh, scales, uh, media and communication technologies and their application broadly, uh, to the various things that we do, and then big data analysis and interpretation. Now, if you think about those six themes, I think you'll see that, uh, or you'll agree, that geospatial science and technology really permeates all of those and makes a contribution to all of those. But I think really, uh, in, in, for my mind, is that the big data part is where the, the uh, geospatial science is at the heart uh, of this. Uh, I think uh, this kind of discussion that we're having today uh, will help us in, the, in our college, and I, certainly other colleges as well, helped us to define the types of expertise uh, that we have to bring to Cornell uh, to be strong in this area, to make the contributions that are needed, and also we have this great opportunity. You know, in, in, in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, in most colleges, it's, it's kind of the same thing. In the next 10 to 15 years, we're going to have over 70% of our current professors retire. So we have a chance right now, by thinking uh, along the lines that you'll be doing today, to help to define the direction of scholarship for a generation. 
And I think it's a very profound impact, actually. And so I want to, I'm really looking forward to the feedback from this meeting. Uh, I hope that you'll provide me with that. And, uh, and I look forward to these results. And I wish you all the best for a very productive day today. Thank you very much.